Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. We have stereotypes for a reason. Yeah. And, you and know why? You know why we have stereotypes? Why? Because we have stereotypes because of people's behavior. And because of that behavior, yeah. people will generalize you. Yeah. I mean, it's the human way. Yeah. If somebody comes walking up behind you with a hood on, it's 100 degrees outside, you can't see the eyes, that means you're fitting to get robbed. <laughs> If you see a pack of niggas across the street and you just walk down and they just happen to run across the street, you finna get fucked up. <laughs> stereotypes can save your life. Hey, man, check out this video, which fits all kinds of stereotypes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they don't even cover their face. Yeah. Oh, skipping out the door. <laughs> okay, well, everybody, look y'all upset. Cut this nigga off. Hey, hey, hold, let me say something. Let me say something. This not only has a negative impact on the store, it has a negative impact on other black people. Like, when those terrorists flew those planes into, uh, in New York into the, um, the yeah. Twin Towers, that had a negative impact on Muslims, like this activity by these black kids, it has a negative. You say everybody stop and looking, you know what they're thinking. I'm gonna tell you what they think. Look at these niggas. Look at them. No, they didn't call them niggas. They call them the, the N-word. Yeah, it has a negative negative impact on every other black person they see. It's just human nature. Like for example, when a white cop does something bad to a black guy, it has a negative impact on police officers from the black community. It's mm -hmm. just the way it works. Yeah. So when it's human nature, man. Yeah. So when I get stereotyped by a cop. I understand where he comes from, because I represent a race that's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're getting pulled over. That's why security guards are following you all throughout the store, because of Negroes like that. You yeah. can't be mad at them. If I'm, if I'm in a, a white neighborhood and a bunch of niggas coming at and someone starts following me, can you blame them? <laughs> <laughs> what? Say that again? I said, if I'm in a predominantly white, affluent neighborhood and right. a bunch of poor ass niggas coming out, yeah. right, looking crazy with hoodies on, you can't see their face. They should be followed. Yeah. They yeah. should. Yeah. Yeah. That's all yeah. I'm saying. We have stereotypes for a reason. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <sighs> this had to be in California. Yeah. Because they they're not even Democrat them. policies. It's not uh, a felony unless it's over, what, $1,000 or something? Something like that. You know what? I'm starting to... Uh... But it should be a felony. Think about it. Because I used to work in uh, retail. I used to be undercover security. I used to like, yeah, got me a Negro here. I know he's good for something. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I took 10 <laughs> niggas off the street. <laughs> we ain't got to worry about these Negroes no more. <laughs> hey, Keith, I got 10 niggas in my office. <laughs> How many niggas you get? <laughs> Ah, I got you today. I, 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 well, I gotta let you go. Five niggas. Just, uh, yeah. Go ahead and say I got fifteen niggas today. Hey man, shut up. No, it should still be a felony, because I know how this works. Just because it's not over nine hundred dollars doesn't make it. A, uh, it still should be a felony. If you walk into a store, premeditated, premeditated, yeah, with the idea that you're gonna steal, you come to the store, you steal stuff, you got no money. Mm -hmm. That's burglary. Yeah, felony. That's a felony. Yeah. Even if you come in and stole just uh, steal one pair of shoes for 50 bucks, if you came in with no money and you walked in with no shoes on, that's premeditation. Yeah. It's still a felony. Yeah. But so I don't understand why they... I worked in California. Cops come out there. Burglary, right? Yep, yeah, it's burglar man. He came in with some plies. He cut all his senses off. Yeah. Already checked his pockets. This yeah. nigga ain't got no money. He ain't got no wallet on him, nothing. He yeah. stole all his stuff. What did the cop do? That guy was just gonna write him a ticket. Said the jails. What did we tell us? The jails are full. Jails are full. There's too many niggas in there. <laughs> We've just hit our limit for Negroes. <laughs> just gonna write this Negro a ticket and hopes he shows up to court. Well, most of them was Latinos. Yeah. Majority of them, yeah. And the first thing they did whenever in California was the fact, sorry, sir, no speaker English. <laughs> yep. They all did it. 
Then the niggas be like, man, you a knock, man. You an Uncle Tom. You in here, you in here doing this for the man. I'm just trying to survive. You out here protecting these corporations, man. What about us, man? What about us? Well, they gave me a job, so <laughs> pays the bills. You ain't got nothing, so look at you. You niggas, right. you Negro star as hell anyway, so I don't know you. <clears throat> yeah. I remember that one Negro pulled a gun on me. Yeah. I had a knife pulled on me. Yeah. Sometimes when I see them Negroes come in, I look the other way. Didn't want to deal with it. Sometimes I'll be like, like I see a pack of... Uh, a pack of niggas? <laughs> Tell about these people like they wolves. <laughs> I, I see saw a, a pack of niggas. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. <laughs> I just looked the other way. No, I ain't dealing with them uh, savages. No, ser seriously. A lot of times when I seen a pack of them come in, I was like, you know what? I'm going on lunch. <laughs> I come back from lunch, stone, stone bags, a white lady. Oh my God, where were you? They just ripped us off blind. I'm like, who? <laughs> I was on lunch. <laughs> I didn't see them niggas come in. <laughs> <laughs> no, because a lot of times I was like, I was the only one there at security. Yeah, it was. A, it's a, I had a gun put on me. I was like, you know what? I'm not even dealing with this. Yeah, you would argue to the managers of the store. Hey, man, I need a partner in here. Y'all got me in. Y'all got me in here by myself, and I'm out here going on a pack of niggas every day. <laughs> I need a partner for backup. It so when them niggas would come in, I'm like I didn't see them. You're not gonna get me killed by these negroes. <laughs> Be a pack of Mexicans too. Yeah. Be packs of Mexicans and Negroes. <laughs> yeah, packs of Mexicans and Negroes. And one, every once in a while, you may see a pack of Asians. <laughs> you but you never see any packs of white folks. Yeah, I got some packs of white folks. They're usually teenagers, though. Like little They're girls. Kids. Still, little They're girls kids. stealing jewelry. They're kids, though. Yeah. Stealing makeup. Yeah. Kids, but yeah, kids. About, whenever it's a pack of people, I'm talking about adults. <laughs> these niggas like 35, 40 years yeah, old. As soon as they walk in the store, they look like they mad at the world. <laughs> they're like, yes. <laughs> Got all this shit in here. I can't afford none of this shit. <laughs> I'm going to just take me some shit. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, man. Yeah, it'd be a pack of white people, but they'd be kids underage. Yeah. We have stereotypes for a reason. Yeah. Now, if you uh, use stereotypes to generalize a group of people and you treat them bad, that, now that's racist. Yeah. But we got stereotypes. It, man. If you're going to generalize something, wait till the niggas that, you know, show their true colors. Then you generalize <laughs> Hey, giveaway's almost up. Last couple weeks, last week or so. Give away a Ford Bronco and 10000 in cash. The end of the win, go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically entered the win. Yeah. <laughs>